Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are going to dive into an application I haven't talked about uh, for a while now. The application is called Affine or Affine. I still am not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, I covered it a couple of times last year but I just came across a post on social media and I saw that it has changed a bit so I thought that we would dive into uh, Affine or Affine in this video and we will actually start off with the pricing plan. So let's start there. So uh, currently there is an AI add-on which is um, $8.9 each month which allows you to uh, you to write with you or allows it to write with you so the basic stuff you're used to in uh, these uh, note-taking apps with an AI it actually allows uh, the AI to draw with you so that is something I should probably try out at some point but I am generally not a big fan of AI add-ons uh, I'm a bigger fan of like one AI subscription to do it all uh, because uh, with a lot of different AI add-ons in a lot of different applications things can get really expensive but I do love the fact that it is an add-on and not something they force upon me um, but uh, draw with you that was what I was talking about you can turn your outline into beautiful engaging presentations summarize your content into structured mind maps and there is a plan with you with uh, memorizing and tidying up your knowledge auto sorting and auto tagging and privacy ensured um but the pricing plan here there is a free forever plan which gives you unlimited local workspaces unlimited use and customization this application is also open source uh, so just keep that in mind you get unlimited dock and, and edgeless editing 10 gigs of cloud storage 10 megabyte maximum file size three members per works workspace seven days cloud time machine file version history and up to three login devices so this isn't terrible uh, i have more than three devices so i would probably have to pay for the pro plan which gives you everything in the basic plan uh, with 100 gigs of storage 100 megabytes of maximum file size 10 uh, members per workspace 30 days cloud time machine file version history that is a long sentence uh, community support and real-time syncing and collaboration for more people there is also a team plan here you can also self-host this application as well if you wanted to so this is the yearly billing if you turn on to the monthly billing this is 7.99 so not terrible actually a uh, good uh, pricing compared to a lot of the other applications but one thing that uh, a fine or a fine pricing has uh, compared to a lot of the other applications is that the other applications add AI and then have to like increase the pricing while here uh, AI is an add-on so uh, they don't have to increase the price because of AI uh, that is uh, one thing that this application has let's jump into the app so um a lot of this looks similar you have your folders you have your favorites you have uh, daily pages and journals there is a new intelligence which is AI uh, and I can use Claude it seems like I can just use Claude here I can use extended thinking and a web search um, but uh, I also have the journal pages uh, and this is new so this wasn't here before the journal pages was uh, here before but now I can actually create a new page uh, so you didn't have to do that previously but I really like this uh, to be able to create a new page uh, for every single uh, day uh, this is something I think capacities has as well so I really like this if we do a backslash here you can see all of the options and there is a lot of new AI stuff in here so you have the ask AI you have uh, a fine AI right here with fixed spelling fixed grammar summarize uh, translate there are a lot of actions you can use apart from that you have like your basic style options you can create different lists you can create docs because this application as you can see has backlinking so what I can do here is that I can do backslash and I can write doc and I can press either link a doc uh, by doing this and that creates another link of the doc so I can click into this document give it a name 
let's quickly go back. So I can give it a name here. Um, or I can like do backlinking using the at symbol. So here you can see that I can create a new untitled page, new untitled uh, edgeless. I can um, link it to uh, something I already have, uh, or I can actually use the journal pages and link it to a journal page. Um, as I mentioned, you have your folders right here. This isn't something I ever use, but you have the ability to use them. You also have tags and collections here as well um but none of this is like a huge selling point to uh, a uh, fine or a fine i need to learn the pronunciation of this application none of this is the selling point here uh the selling point is the edgeless mode so the ability to uh do both whiteboarding or mind mapping uh and doing uh like document editing in one page so let me just take this open up the test uh, page right here um, paste it in here you could also just use uh, ai or use a template or just jump right into edgeless but i will do it like this and then if you click this button right here uh, which is view in edgeless canvas or press alt s uh, so Alt S in my case actually opens up uh, opens up one of my extensions, but um, it should work. Uh, now I have the edgeless mode, and here you can see uh, the edgeless mode. This is a whiteboard, so in here I can actually add stuff. Uh, so I can add a test note. I can add um, like I can write with a pen. I can also go back to the select tool and actually move things around or double click to press or to write. Um, and I can create new um, sticky notes. I can erase stuff. I can actually add another note here. So let's say I wanted to do that. I wanted to add another note. Let's say I wanted to have main points in here uh, and do like main point one, main point two and so on you would of course actually write something in here uh, but I am not doing that and then I can go back to the select tool I can drag things around I can use frames I can use curves uh, there are other things as well so you can have like a real mind map in here if you ever needed to so I can add a real mind map in here to work on my ideas uh, there are also uh, other things here like arrows stickers the paper one I haven't actually seen a lot of these are new so you have concept maps you have a SWOT analysis that you can just put in here these are more like templates um, and I can go ahead and I can delete them just by marking them like this and pressing backspace, just like you would in a regular whiteboard. But I can also go back into here and change between these. Uh, and that is something I really like. Uh, and I can zoom in a little bit more um, by pressing this zoom in button right here. And here I can also use the AI uh, so as you saw, I went back and nothing happens uh, in here. But if I now click this and I click display in page, go back to the note, it appears in my page. Uh, so what you could do here um, is that um, you can write your ideas, write your thoughts in a mind map and then quickly turn it into a document, which is something no other application actually offers so whenever you create a note you can actually allow it to display in page um, and it will actually display in your page now i turned it off again but if i press display in page you can see that it shows up and you can like play around with this so what i would use this for is for example structuring my youtube videos i will do it like this uh, like i could have uh intro here and i could add another one called um let's create another one and call this uh uh outro i was looking for the word outro uh, and i could have some bullet points in here and i could then press uh display on page to actually display it on the page let me just try to click this select display in page like this uh, 
you can also do this with keyboard shortcuts. So either uh, just by clicking V or F or C, I am terrible at using uh, keyboard shortcuts. That is my uh, biggest issue. But as you can see, this actually works quite well. So um, it seems like a fine has gotten a lot better. It's been a while since I've used it, but the interface looks cleaner. There isn't as many bugs as the other times I have tested it out. And it is really becoming one of the applications to pay uh, attention to and maybe even test out and see if it is for you. I think a lot of people forget about this application because it's been around longer than a lot of the other like hyped applications and i don't think their marketing is necessarily the best and there isn't a lot of content creators creating content about this application but honestly it is so so good and so so interesting because it offers something no other application offers but i think that like covers up today's video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching today's video.